Hey, hello. I'm doing the finishing touch up on this uh, boring bar project here on the sun and honing machine. And it's just what I'm doing is this is the machine surface and 12L doesn't shine up like 4140. So I'm taking, I'm just lightly lapping it. And I'm using the sun and hone machine to do that. And I'll go ahead and do this in. And what you can do is uh, you can buy or make an adapter so you can hook chucks onto it. This is a 5 8 Jacobs headstock spindle chuck with that uh, one and a half by eight threads, like uh, small bench lathes. And you can put small bench lathe uh, jaw chucks on here to hold parts to do external or, you know, uh, or some odd internal work, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna uh, start this up. And I've got uh, a very fine uh, clover lapping compound. Label's gone on that one. Just about on that one. This is super fine here. And I've got a little piece of lead. And I put a little bit of that uh, lapping compound in there. And I put a little splash of oil on there, but I don't let the oil run up. So I'm going to create a little better bearing surface here. And uh, let me get that over that. Uh, there we go. Got to get it over that uh, stamp ring group I just cut. I'm going to put it the other way. There we go. I think it'll work better now. And I'm just going to go back and forth like that and I'm going to put a cross hatch finish onto that machine surface and as I'm working this back and forth I can feel the micro ridges working down and this becoming very very smooth look just about that I think Okay. Have a look at that. Yeah, see it just kind of just kind of dulls it down a little bit and smooths it over. Yeah, see these have not just go over a little bit. Maybe I should do a little bit more. I think this one hat shows a little more. So there's a slight crosshatch finish and uh, that'll pick up oil. And this bushing, not only does this rotate, it travels back and forth for the uh, action of that uh, line boring. So that's what's going on here. So you can, uh, one of the reasons I, I show this is because uh, if you have one of these machines, you can keep the abrasives pretty much totally uh, off your uh, off your legs. Let's work this side a little bit. You can really feel that. And then it starts getting real smooth. So the first time when this tool's used, it'll work smoother than having to have this break down with the bearings. We'll end up uh, having to have more running threads. Yeah, I got I got this running just a couple hundred RPMs. This went down off. Yeah. There was a device you could run in a lathe that had a stone and a spring arm. It would go back and forth like that. And it did uh, practically the same thing. It's called a super finisher. That, that's another way of doing something like this. But just uh, this simple little thing will go a long ways in making uh, 
the part worked out dead in the long run. <laughs> so I'm almost done with this project. And of course with this situation you can also run barrel wraps and stuff like that. That's a barrel wrap I can stick in there. Okay. Well, that's probably pretty good for now. And uh, I'll come back with some more stuff. I just kicking around all kinds of things out here.